Remove the temporary plug placed on the first provisional bridge. Unscrew to remove the first provisional bridge. Secure the E-stab cylinder. Conduct X-ray capturing to confirm the securement. Execute confirmation of the second provisional bridge attachment. If there are any parts that are caught, adjustment of the second provisional bridge hole is necessary. Use Teflon to plug the E-stab cylinder hole. Dry the cylinder to allow cement bonding. Mix the cement and then inject an appropriate amount. Avoid excessive injection and the recommended amount is approximately half of the provisional bridge. Use GCEM to increase bonding strength. Deliver the second provisional bridge into the oral cavity and have the patient take a bite to fully seat it. Immediately remove any remaining cement inside the second provisional bridge holes after setting. Remove the Teflon from inside the cylinder. The Teflon inside the cylinder is removed while holding second provisional bridge in place to prevent movement. Remove the Teflon after removing residual cement to avoid screw hex blockage. Then check the driver and screw hex engagement. Carry out curing inside the oral cavity. Remove the second provisional bridge using a 1.2 hex driver within the oral cavity. Perform secondary curing outside the oral cavity. Secure the cylinder protector with the 1.2 hex driver. Fill the gap between the second provisional bridge and the cylinder with resin cement or resin. Remove the cylinder protector. Polishing is performed to ensure there are no rough areas. Deliver the second provisional bridge to the oral cavity. To make the patient comfortable, adjust the bite. After delivering the second provisional bridge inside the oral cavity, proceed with whole sealing using materials such as Teflon or temporary filling materials.